Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is looking like a great time to invest right now on the FIFA 23 market in a couple specific areas where we have seen prices dropping in the past day. With the drop of Rule Breakers team number two, a lot of packs have been opened, promo packs are in the store, and that is dropping a lot of supply of some SBC fodder cards on the market. And with these packs being opened, people trying to pack Rule Breakers, you're seeing a lot of those prices drop, and I think with an upcoming SBC that we have mentioned in yesterday's video, and a lot of you guys know about, that Max 87 overall hero SBC, I think there's potential for a lot of SBC fodder cards to rise. So we're going to take a look at that today and when to be getting into some of those cards with their prices being down a little bit. And also, I'm going to take a look at the rest of the market because... Yesterday on Friday and even into today right now on Saturday, a lot of prices didn't move that much. There was a little bit of panic yesterday, but not much at all. And honestly, what I'm seeing right now is a lot of the market it just seems to be very stagnant and a lot of prices, even with coin injection yesterday, a lot of people opening promo packs to try to pack the brand new cards, prices are going lower even though there are more coins on the market right now. So I'm a little bit worried about that and what that means for the market this weekend, but we're going to take a look at that and how today might be a bit of a quiet Saturday content-wise on FIFA 23. So if you're excited for the video, hit the thumbs up, and of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about the investment potential that I see in front of us here. This would be a pretty short-term investment as well, by the way, because of the price drops that we saw this weekend and an SBC that we're expecting in the next two to three days on this game. That's kind of the time frame that we are looking at here with SBC fodder, right? The cheapest players by rating page is what we're looking at on flipping right now. 84 is 2,000 coins. 85s are down under 9,000 coins a card. 86s are about 14K a piece. Your higher rated fodder, we're not going to discuss too much of that for an investment uh, of potential because these guys are actually up a lot because of the player of the month messy SBC. I see a lot more potential on the lower to mid tier fodder because that fodder hasn't risen up much just yet. So why in the world would we want to buy these cards right now? Well, like I mentioned, the pack that was added to the code a couple days ago was this, an 87 overall max hero card. And if you guys remember earlier in the week, actually last Monday, we had the 86 rated max icon SBC. It was very hyped. A lot of people did it. It was a very good value SBC and the market took a hit because of it. And a lot of these card prices went up big time, right? You can take a look and exactly see the rises on these cards directly correspond with that SBC drop in last week. Pareo from 12K up to 16,000 coins. That SBC goes away. He's now back down into the lower, you know, he was about 12,000 coins yesterday. Some of the 86s have started to kick back up in price already with player of the month Messi looking pretty cheap and some higher rated squads needed inside of that. But with this SBC on the horizon, it looks like another opportunity for that fodder to go up in price because there's going to be demand. Now, of course, it always does come down to how does EA price the SBC and when does the SBC drop? I think that an 87 rated Max Hero SBC will probably be dropped tomorrow on Sunday or Monday, right? Monday last week was the day they dropped the 86 icon. I could see it being dropped on Monday again this week, but we have to invest ahead of time because people are, are obviously knowing that this is coming and they're going to get involved with this stuff pretty fast and get on top of this pretty soon. So that's why I like taking a look at some of these cards, right? Let's talk about what cards to look at and why, right? Look at Pogba. Pogba was 12,000 coins on Wednesday with that team and week pack dropping up from like 7,000 coins. Now these guys are back down to about under under, you know, like 8.8, .8, you know, you can see they, they spiked even yesterday, right? On Friday yesterday from 8.8K all the way up to 9.5 and now they're back down under 9,000 coins. I think these cards, 85 is under 9K, 86 is at 13, under 14,000 coins for 86s and 84 rated cards, especially at 2 K. I think all of those are great investments for this upcoming week of FIFA because at the moment what we have right now are a lot of good SBCs that are out even just not even thinking about the 87 Max Hero SBC that's going to come out. You've got a Falcao for lower tier cards that looks pretty good. You've got a Messi card that people are maybe going out and crafting because with fodder prices dropping over the weekend, the price of this SBC has gone from 816,000 coins to 740k where it sits right now that should tell you all you need to know about investing in fodder you know you've got an insigne for lower tier stuff that's good you've got a becker sbc that's pretty cheap 
and maybe even another uh, Rule Breakers player SBC today. So I really like 84s. I mean, again, the, the hold time here might end up being a little bit longer than like three or four days because we don't know exactly what requirements are going to be inside of this um, 87 overall max hero SBC. But I think 84s, 85s, 86s, 87s are all really really good buys at the moment you could even maybe buy a couple of guys like from the 88 to 89 rated you know part of the market but i just feel like these cards are up so much already with that player of the month sbc for messi as you can tell right these guys used to be 20k they absolutely ballooned with the icon sbc up to 27k and now they've gone up further with the Messi SBC being out, they were really high yesterday, 29K. Now they have dropped off. I mean, 25K for 88s, I think is not terrible. You know, if you wanna go out and buy a few of those, you can do that. But I really like the lower to mid section of the fodder market at the moment. 87s look pretty good to me at 17K because if 88s keep going up, and I mean, what was Thomas Muller yesterday? He was 19K. And now we're looking at 17. If you can get some of these under 17K, I just think that it's the time of the year as well where the, the content keeps turning out. And at the time of a game right now where people are starting to get more interested in you know, running untradeable teams, we're getting closer and closer to the World Cup. And I do think that the World Cup is going to have a massive effect on the market. And just the way that the market is feeling right now, I really feel like investing in some of this fodder is something that you might be able to do very easily. Put a couple of these cards in your club, on your transfer list. Um, it's not like you have to go unassigned with thousands and thousands of cards because, you know, that might just not be worth it for you and how you're trying to play the game of FIFA. But going through the cheapest players by uh, rating list like we just saw, I'll put the link to that page down below in, in the description of this video. Um, I mean, look, the difference between 84s and 85s is so much that it's crazy. 8.6K for Jorginho, I will take that. But like 8.5K or 9,000 coins for an 85 rated card but only 2K for an 84. That's a huge price discrepancy there. So, you know, I think that those that gap will close here pretty soon. It's just a matter of time. That's why I really like the 84s as investments. But just do like what I'm doing right here. Go out to the market. If you have a decent amount of coins, go through and pick one of these cards up uh, and the, some of the cheapest 85s, the cheapest 86s, and just put them in your club. And then you'll be happy later on this week when you see the prices rising up. And, you know, I think today on Saturday, people are going to be going out and buying and investing in some of these cards as well. People were investing in fodder yesterday. There's a very strong um, amount of demand for this fodder right now on the market, but I think it's for good reason. So again, if you need a graph to show you what's going on with the fodder prices in general right now, this is the index 85. It's going from here and it's gone all the way down. I think it's going to come back up a little bit over the weekend as we have the lessening of supply and a little bit more demand. Of course, you still have weekend league rewards and stuff, but that shouldn't impact the market too much. So again, that's just basically a really long way to say I like investing in fodder. I think these prices are pretty good. You know, you can't expect 86s to go all the way back down to 12K. Like these guys are not going to be 11 to 12K. Fodder just continues to go up, especially in these later stages of October when the content continues to ramp up. EA puts out better SBCs. These prices are just going to creep higher over the next couple of weeks. Patience is a good thing when it comes to SBC fodder. So that's my thoughts on the fodder market. Again, I'm not expecting this hero SBC today. I'm not expecting it really tomorrow either on Sunday. I think it's most likely going to be Monday, but it is in the code and it just feels like that uh, EA is going to drop this SBC very, very soon. Now let's talk about the rest of the market and I want to show you some graphs. Erling Holland is 187K. Now I know that prices oftentimes get low on Friday nights and they rise up a little bit on Saturday. Saturdays, right? That's a trend that we often see. Yesterday on the market, there, you know, there was some supply, but a lot of the market just felt really stagnant. Holland was 215. He went down at content to about 200,000 coins, had a slight bounce, and then just got sold off into the evening. Uh, and a lot of your meta cards, like Ronaldo was one of the only cards that uh, went up a lot in price. And I'm looking through the rest of the market. Ferland Mendy was 99k yesterday before content and now he is down to 89,000 coins. I just think with the way the market reacted yesterday, being on the market so much in the past couple of days and watching these card prices, 
I don't think good things are coming for prices on this game. I think we are going to see another market drop off this weekend because if you think about it, right, 50K packs and all those packs that were in the store were opened by people spending FIFA points to try to pack Ribery, to try to pack Tiago, to try to pack all the cards that are in Rule Breakers Team 2. People were spending FIFA points opening these yesterday and, and even into today on Saturday. And that's putting coins, bringing coins to the market as people discard the packs and they, they quick sell the stuff in there. That really is what brings a lot of coins to the market. And really yesterday, the only prices that went up a lot higher were some of your out of packs cards. Like I remember seeing Mohamed Salah's Inform, uh, a card that I watch in price often, go up like more than he's ever been. He was above 600,000 coins, which is really high for his card. But for the rest of the market, like stuff continues to go actually stay the same or go down in price. And that's why I just think that, you know, maybe a slight rise today is possible for some player prices on this game. But I just don't think that if you're holding a team with a lot of tradable players in it, especially if there's gold cards in there. I mean, look at Nkunku. Nkunku has been 80K for a hot minute. Uh, and, and yesterday and then right now, 73,000 coins for Nkunku. Like he's down a lot in the past couple of days. So just be very careful holding on to any gold cards and even some of your rule breakers cards. If we take a look at like last week's, the team that just went out of packs, these guys got invested in yesterday and their prices jumped up for a little bit and, and now they're back down, right? Uh, yesterday, Jekko was around like 146. He jumped about one, almost 160 at one point and now he's back down to 145. Um, of course, Calvin Phillips is up a little bit. Leon Bailey's up a little bit. PK has had a decent rise. Uh, Ronaldo up a bit. Jesus Navas. There's a card. There's a few cards that are up a bit, but it feels like a lot of the market um, is is just very stagnant. You know, hero cards yesterday, you know, had some nice rises, but there was a lot of panic selling as well. I bought a Yaya Toure yesterday under 1.2 million coins. Right, this was the biggest place of panic yesterday on the market. Yaya was 117, bounced up to 129 where I sold him, and now he's back down to 121. Like that's really, really low for his price on the market right now. Could that bounce up today? I think potentially really fast. You could have some sl some small slight rises today. But other than that, I just really feel like now is not the time to have tradable cards in your team because a lot of prices are gonna continue to drop on this market and on this game. Now let's talk about rule breaker cards here for a second because as we usually talk about trends, and I even talked about this last week, when the market's very healthy, you see nice rises heading into a Saturday morning because people wake up and they play foot champs, right? Now, I picked up a couple cards tonight that I think are going to have nice rises and they're already starting to rise. I actually went out and picked up two Tiagos at 410,000 coins. He is now rising towards 440K and starting to get rare as people wake up today on Saturday and play with this guy on their team and, and try him out. I know a lot of people are looking to buy it. Franck Ribéry, of course, kind of crazy timing for Ribéry. He announced his retirement yesterday, and then he gets a card in FIFA. It's 900,000 coins for this Ribéry card. A lot of people were thinking he was going to be over a mil. His price has dropped a ton into the nighttime hours today. I'm, I'm, I'm skeptical, really. I'm skeptical of how much the market can rise today. Um, I bought a Havertz as well at like 312,000 coins. But really, I, I don't see this card going much over like 330K today. If I'm being completely honest, these rule breaker cards today, I'm not trying to hold on to them for very long because I feel like these guys might have a, a short spike. But then I think prices as we get towards 6 p.m., are just going to end up dropping. So it just might become one of those mornings where there's some panic selling. Um, and, and that worries me a little bit. We did get a sale here. We sold a Tiago for 440. So I'm taking the easy quick cash on these guys, right? Bought it for 410, sold it for 440. And I'm trying to stay pretty liquid because that's the way that I want to be in a market that just feels like prices are so cheap everywhere. Um, I, I don't like when prices are up on some other areas of cards as well. Speaking of cards that are low, Neymar team of the week. I think he's rebounding back up a little bit now. Um, Neymar team of the week was back down. Oh my gosh, look at this rebound. He was just 1.2 million coins flat. Some of your team of the week cards have gotten very, very cheap. They went down, they rebounded back up, they got low again Friday night, and now some of them might bounce back into today on Saturday like Neymar here, as you can see. 
yesterday went from 1.5 all the way down to 1.28, bounced back up to 1.4, and has been dropping all night and just hit a low point of 1.19 and is now rebounding back up. So if you bought a Neymar at that really low point, GG's. I think that your team of the week cards, if the market falls off a lot today on Saturday, uh, it looks like Barella is actually starting to go up too. He was 66K, right? He went down to 72, up to 80 down to 64 and he's now like 68 69 i think your informs will drop lower maybe tonight on saturday night as well especially if today just becomes a day where people are starting to sell cards on the game i think you'll see that with the team of the week and i think you'll also see that with these rule breaker cards now i will say last week you guys might remember a pretty crazy fluctuation with ronaldo he was extinct and then he came back to the market and then all of a sudden his price went down to 1.5 and then shot back up um, you might have a fluctuation like that today with Ribery or Tiago or Ramos or Havertz, some of your more elite rare cards, if there's uh, a lot of panic selling. Now, the one thing I will say is there are a couple of cards from this promo team that might just rise up because prices in this team seem really cheap, right? Like that's the other part here of the market being kind of like dead in a sense is you've got a brand new Maxence Lacroix, who is 90,000 coins for a French center back. I can also see an argument today where people are like, man, I just want to wake up today, try some new cards, and, and you know, a card like this might go up around 10,000 coins. Or Payet, right? Payet was uh, around 104,000 coins, and I believe right now he's about 114. This is a card that people might wake up today and try. Uh, I would just be careful for holding these cards for too much longer than, than really like a, a couple more hours. Uh, even holding them into content today. I just don't feel like it's a really good idea there. Now, also, some of these cards that are in the team are incredible looking cards for dirt cheap value. I cannot believe that this Thomas Moynier card is 15,000 coins. I think to me, this is an absolute steal. Now, he was just about 14K and oh, with a shadow right there. I'll take that. I'll take Thomas Moynier with the shadow. I might be able to sell that for a little bit extra um, as he is a lengthy player. Actually, I don't know if he's lengthy with a shadow, but it's a shadow. Anyways, you know, some of these really low tier cards like Thomas Moynier looks really, really insane for the price that he is. Also, Avila with all of the links to like think about Robert Tony you've had recently. And you've also had a very popular right mid Correa. This guy being like almost discard is honestly, it's like a crime, right? I think this guy could rise up a little bit today. I picked up one at like 11,750 just to see if he goes up to like 13, 14K, not expecting a big rise. But these cards are just so cheap that people will wake up today and, and probably want to try them out on their team. So just be careful with prices today because around the market, specifically on golds, I just don't like where this market is headed. So I'm glad that I'm taking a few coins here or there. I sold something else here. What did I sell? I sold the Lewandowski at 59K. Nice. I bought some fodder yesterday at Content uh, because I was like, man, these guys are super duper cheap. And I think they will have potential to rise up. And that indeed is what they have done. So last thing I want to look at is what SBC content we could have for today. There was a player leak that dropped yesterday that we didn't actually see in the game. And it's this man, a Brazilian right back. Anytime we get a Brazilian SBC player, take note because people will do it just because it is Brazilian. Same thing with the French, right? Those are the most, I would say the top two squad building challenge like uh, nations and England as well. English, uh, Brazil and France always have hype when they get dropped as SBCs. Now this guy's really, really short. I think he's like five foot six or something, but he's Italian. He's Syri He's not Italian. He's in the Serie A, the Italian league, and he is Brazilian. So I think if his card drops with good stats like this, and if he's pretty cheap, this might be a really good value SBC today. Watch out for guys like Quadrado, who might even be in team of the week this week. And watch out for your other right backs in the game that could take a hit in value. And maybe some other cards like uh, Bremer. I, I believe the Bremer road to the knockouts is up in value because people are expecting uh, the Dodo SPC to drop. Yeah, you can see this guy's price has gone up a decent amount. So I would just be careful on the market today because this might be our only piece of content. Maybe they'll refresh the packs in the store. I'm not expecting a lot of content today on a Saturday, but I do think that there is enough kind of, I don't know, not panic in the air, but just enough stagnant market to me right now that I just don't like how it's feeling and how it's looking on this game. So I'm taking it really, really safe. I'm taking it easy with some of the cards. And if I'm trading today, I'll be looking for like big panic selling undercuts. This Yaya Toure at one, two flat, like even right now, this kind of interests me because if he's decently rare up to about 1.3 mil, 
you know, he might bounce back up to 1.3 mil today because stuff like that happens on the market with rare cards. Watch out for icons, watch out for heroes. You might be able to trade with a few of those guys today with these price fluctuations that we have seen. Just like we see the Neymar already bouncing back, that's where you might be able to make some more coins today on this game. And also start to look at that SBC fodder investment because I think it's looking really good. So if you enjoyed today's video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.